Previously on Outer Wilds. Using this tactic, they are basically peeking into the future 22 minutes. There is, there is no cycle. Because it didn't happen. There is no time loop. It doesn't exist because it never happened. We're peeking into the future continuously 22 minutes. There is still a few things that I want to... I'm gonna say confirm. And I wanted to do it at the beginning of the Seaklia. Seaklia. There you are. Let's go talk to, to Shirt. That's what I want to do. Someone pointed out that he have... Like, mm, different things to say. I say it like that. But I, I obviously had didn't know. I didn't realize. I thought it was just being cray cray. Oh my goodness! Match it for Christ's sake! Match it, man! Match it! Bonk! Let's go. So I want to see. Yeah. I don't think I added his... For some reason I wanted to say hula hoop, but I meant the bonky bonk. <laughs> yeah. Good, so you can say different things. Mm, look at that. Goodness, it's you! Hello! I take it your first launch went well then. I mean the... F sure, yes. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfeld asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. I didn't know that's how you said it, supernovae. Hmm. Uh, usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye, uh, uh, eye or four on the sky and maybe you'll spot one yourself. I've spot one really close up, you know? How do I know if I've spotted a supernovae? Supernovae looks like extra bright stars to the naked eye. But if you zoom in with your signoscope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. You can do that? Wow! Massive stars go supernovae, uh, supernova, uh, novae, uh, at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realize. Oh, gotta scratch my eyeball. Okay. What are you doing? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfeld noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. <laughs> I mean, we talked to Feldspar, yeah. He seems to be interested in crashing things. Um, maybe don't tell Hornfelds either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. <laughs> Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. Oh, that's how you'd find out that this was a lake bed. I don't mean to brag. But I'm really quite good with the little scout. So I'll be taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Did you go into the Sunless City? Did you though? Have you seen the old ship uh, shipwreck site on Ember Twins Southern Hemisphere? I guess I didn't. The one shooting a bright beam. Oh, that one. Well, okay, you meant like that. I thought you meant our ships. Um, bright beam of light into the sky. I'm not. It's not one of our own crashes. Surprisingly enough, it's one. It's a Nomai ship. Yeah, you'll find Nomai ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, uh, if there was one to see, I'd seen it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground? Hmm. How dangerous is that big column of fall falling sand? On a scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it a 7 or 8. <laughs> Pretty awful, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know uh, the process eventually reverses? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I guessed at the very beginning, that it was supposed to go the other way. Um, but I guess that's 
since the sun sort of plodes, uh, it doesn't go back. We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomena. Oh, if you don't, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin. Uh, once a little more sand strained off, I promise you won't be disappointed. I'm gonna turn off the notification on my phone because suddenly I got really scared that it was gonna be like a buzz buzz. Okay, I found something. Please do tell. Oh, he didn't get upset with me this time. I found your notes about the Adderlock main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been uh, frozen solids or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. I mean, that would make sense that it would be colder. Then again, our coldest planet in our solar system is closest to the sun, right? Hmm. Now you'll notice, of course, uh, that there is no such planet now. In this place is Dark Bramble, which... How to put this... Grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. Uh, and apparently, I mean, if you look at all of the, um, and, well, notes that we got from the Nomai, it was like that way back then too, right? That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Couldn't it have been... And I'm just like, this doesn't matter, but it just sort of, I just want to say it. It could have been that it was in the zone that was too cold for it to, to sort of exist. Or do not, sorry, for the planet to be habitable. Like it's not in the Goldilocks zone. But if there's a really strong solar flare, it could potentially have melted, which could have meant that the seed was actually inside the planet all along over a very, very, very very long time or even that the seed was just there and during the planet's creations uh, what gathered around it sort of froze its solids so it could have just been ice all the way through like gases and uh, liquid or whatever that froze and formed the planet in itself so if there's a solar flare that heats it up a little bit it was warm enough for the seed to burst so like a, a seed fridge yeah some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adderlock, which I believe is how its uh, how its biggest crater was formed. Makes sense. Goodness, I sure, so far, sure. I have a question. Tell me, I found something. I found in my writing about a hidden planet. Mm, how fascinating. It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would just have to be incredibly far out there, further than Harthian's ship would be able to travel. They, speaking of, there's like no mentions of smaller planets like Pluto in our solar system, you know, those mini ones, I don't remember the names of the other, what, three ones that are not going in the same, like, disc shape, but diagonally or like, you know, I'm just talking, I'm just rambling. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The further you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. Wouldn't you be able to sort of calculate the, the gravital... whatever. Um, I found something. I find no right writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? We wouldn't, we wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not. Uh, I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another uh, place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. What are you up to? Yeah, okay. Hmm, just saying hi. Watch out for falling sand, okay? I've had, a, had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. It actually does not sound funny at all. We got an update for that? My god, am I glad we did that then. 
where did we get an update? Hmm. Shirt has spotted an unusually high number of supernovas recently. Cool. Good. Uh, glad I did that. And then... I've also wanted to... Oh. No, hold on. I'm gonna pause for a second and bring up my notes. So, I want to... Talk to Gabro again. Um, I can cross off the... Ah! No, I didn't want to! Let me go! And uh, I am also... Honestly, let's be honest, I'm trying to avoid going back to Dark Bramble. Let's, let's, let's just be honest. Let's all just gather ourselves into the realm of honesty here. I love fishing, but I don't like being eaten by the fish. Go away. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Let me go. Before the thing comes and picks us up again. Okay. Cause... Did I miss a conversational option with her? I think someone mentioned something. Could we also... What is there? Just nothing. I don't know. Let's... Let's talk. Our space treating you. Found something. Yeah. Found out what happened to the probe cannon. It's breaking apart the start of each loop. For real. And okay, now I did that one. Hello, again. Found something. I found no my masks inside the Ashwim project. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time. I guess that makes sense. Considering we both have our memories of each loop we've gone through. Wait, then it's just our memories being sent back in time to us, right? Then are we really experiencing multiple time loops or not? That's pretty deep. Like, maybe our consciousness have been through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't, because technically the loops never happened! Yes! That's what I said! It never happened! Gabriel, you're smart! You're a clever bean, I like you. <laughs> Meaning we're receiving memories of things that never happened to us. Cool, huh? <laughs> That's super funny. <sighs> oh my god. I saw your ship again. I hope it's having fun. Mm, actually, let me... See... I found the source of the time loop. Wait, well really? The Nomai carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That is wild! Now I know what's causing the loop then, and if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me think... Uh, uh, there's a part of me thinks maybe you shouldn't. What's with the sun blowing up and all? Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no time uh, time loop expert. I'm just gonna sit here and ponder the in in intricacies intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap too if I feel like it. Oh wow! Okay, that confirmed. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy I went there then. That's like a pat on my back, huh? I'm proud. All right, I'm crossing that one off. Um. I was thinking I should maybe go back and check if the coordinates change, but now I'm more than ever convinced they will not. So, one more thing I was a little curious about. But I was thinking if I should go back there. And... Hmm... 
see how it's looking when when it's activated activated you know oh look at that that's another oh can i zoom in with this one no i don't think so um because i got curious come on not the be a lot you can do it oh i just aborted can do it myself. Yeah. Okay, so... Here's what I want to do. Fast. I want to open you again. Come here. Now let's look. Let's see what happens. I'm so freaking curious now. Okay, come on. Oh my god! Oh. What if I would jump inside? I would break something. Oh my god. So, does a chamber not, chamber not break? That was amazing! That was amazing! What would happen if I jump into the black hole, hmm? If it was only meant for data? It'd break something. Also, I noticed that there's no skeletons in there. There's no skeletons in there. They could have stopped it. But there was nobody near. I don't think I can avoid it anymore now. The one thing I didn't do is jump into the eye. Uh, I mean the reflection of the eye, I guess. That's one. Um, but um, I think I'll just end up back at home. Right? I don't... Uh, I'm not gonna... Because the question is if it's actually me traveling with the moon or my conscious... Conscious awareness or whatever. Because uh, uh, she thinks she's not living and not dead, so maybe merging with a com quantum object, you can't physically be there, it's just whatever. Um, I No, enough brain power for m many years have been used up. Um... Okay. So we're not allowed to use even these things. Not the choo choo either. Scared. I don't think it's close enough. Nope, still got me, huh? Bastard. Okay. It's on my right. Sorry, on my left. Hear it.
It's gonna make hear me if my own move now. It's like right over there somewhere. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's far enough away. hear it anyway. Yeah, in here I don't think there's any fishes in here. I mean, I think. I don't know. But it's all green-like and I'm like, yeah, that's a nice color. Doesn't look toxic or anything. Yeah. Oh, bonk. No, stop. And this time, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave my ship. <laughs> because I learn. I was gonna say, do I have my suit on? <laughs> yeah, sorry, apologize. Yes, apologies, I'm sorry. Yeah, mm, that's a big loss. Um, met your friend. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to... Stop. Right. Again, desensitized, yes. This is what happens. Wah wah wah. Hmm, yeah. So sad, so sad, yes. Actually, it, it's, it's really sad, so I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so after this one, it's going to be two in there. So I have to have enough speed when I go in and then no motor um, and that's going to be not easy I'm gonna try this one because I can't take up the scout either because it because I figured like oh, yeah, I can do that and then they will get distracted I think I'm wrong I think there's one here He's gonna bite me. There's several. My heart is beating so loud, I'm thinking that the microphone might pick it up. Fucking hate you guys! Oh my heart. What is that? The it's their babies. It's the eggs? It's eggs, right? So that's why it's shining red, that's why they're protecting it. Do you think I dare to turn now? Stop, please. That's actually pretty cool. There's one. Don't move. Is he swimming? Or is he standing still? That is red. That is very red. Red is bad. Red is uh, bad. <laughs> If I learned anything, red is bad. It's also a very nice color. Patience. Your name is Patience. You're fine. Did I get- did I do it? Is there gonna be another one in here? Oh, okay. I think we are- oh my god, I think we're fine. 
I don't hear them anyway. So we went straight through their little baby. <gasps> Oh yeah, there's none. Oh. Hey scout, good job. Oh, there's gonna be so much to explore now. Um, hmm, okay. It really got... Oh, look at the skellies. Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna be... A good landing spot. Hi guys. So some of them didn't make it out into the escape pods. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is probably to one of the. Odds, right? Oh, good. Oh, it's the... For the place for the warp core, right? Because it looks exactly like in the Ash Twin. Yeah. Oh. Pick up? Why would I want to pick it up? Wait. So... What is this? Hmm? What do I... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, do I need to cross them all? Like, oh, it's the it's for the coordinates. It's for the coordinates, right? Oh my. Okay. So what is that? I got like a super fright now that maybe I'm not recording. Can't put down this thing. I want to drop it. Were you trying to get to it, or can I? Yeah. Don't think it's gonna help. It looks very broken. Okay. Let's read some. To any Numai clans whose vessel can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources to save places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy. Is that here? Gloaming galaxy? We found that the Black Rock's sun are fairly stable and life is in, in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in a relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. Uh, we'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of a skull. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day a skull's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. Hmm. It was as if their missing friend had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. 
Eskel's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into a myth. Our ancestors' ancestors t were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysof? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Askel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hysop, I hope you aren't comparing Askel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we fear you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple sun of the bright spark star system exploded and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kanna. Oh! Come on. Stand still, I want to read. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessel nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potential unstable stars, which is most of them now. Okay, so everything was exploding and that's why they were exploring? I thought they were just chasing the eye, but maybe they were... It was more than that from the beginning. This is a skull's vessel. Something badly... Something went badly during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quick as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from in inside itself. Wait, did they bring the seed? No, they didn't. Did they? We... We are abandoning our, abandoning our vessel. Any of my clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Mm -hmm. That is... Hmm. Okay. Huh. Shit, calm down. Too fast, too fast. Okay. No. You can only go one way, huh? Maybe... Because we seem to be able to direct the... Direct the electricity or the current somehow. So maybe... Oh yeah, look at that. So maybe we can open some of the, those paths. Can we get in there? Ah. Oh no, this is an escape pod, huh? Yeah, I think so. A fourth escape pod that didn't shoot out? Or... It does look like it, right? Like, this would have been a place for an escape pod. Hmm. I need to just go back and refuel real quick, and then I want to explore some more. So there was supposed to be four, four pods going, huh? Right? Does look like... Oh! Is this the fifth one? I think that's where we were, right? In the cockpit? Or... You know... Hello? Come on. What's this? So... Their warp core broke. So we can... Yeah, so we're... We can take the warp card from the Ash Twin Project and go here, huh? But... What about the others? Like... I mean... 
Like Gabra at least, right? Um Yeah. Let's go. I found the derelict Nomai vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel bridge that appears to have to be some sort of input device. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing messages system broke down during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. So those are current? The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. Those are now. Those messages were n were now. So we can go to the Nomai? Is that it? Um. Hmm. Yeah, so three pods were shot out. Oh man, okay, so... Will I end up it's directly in their... Little thing now? Oh! <laughs> I guess I got out. <laughs> okay. How is our son? Yeah, it's on the way, huh? I think uh, I might have time. Yeah, the stars are actually exploding. So this was th this whole Nomai thing. Ah! I remember his water. We are fine. So our... Hmm... What am I trying to say? I don't know. What am I trying to say? Yes, the Nomai that's here, that was here, they became a myth. They disappeared, oh. But so, did the others chase the eye too? No, don't come here! A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. I found something. Okay, let's see here. No? I can't... I can't tell them. I don't think that's very fair. Yeah, you go back to the plant, I don't want to. Oh man, so... <sighs> That's what I have to do, huh? But why do I have to leave Gabro and everything? Like, that doesn't... That does not make sense to me. I should be able to bring at least... I should bring them along at least. I mean, come on! Hmm... So, um, thinking back on it, during the first episode I sort of just went bonk dead, right? It would be pretty much the same result if, as if just taking out the Ashwin Project core and just let it happen, right? I would just be dead. End of story. But then also... This. Why do I not have anything on this? Hollow's Lantern? Why? Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. <laughs> Ah, that's the 
best response did you think i just made that so you could take pretty pictures of trees it has multiple uses you do know you can use it as a light source right stars above please tell me you knew that <laughs> it would be funny if the if it got updated at that point okay so ugh. Why is the option that I have to leave everyone and everything? Why can't I bring at least Gabro? They are aware. They know. They know what's happening. <sighs> Do I... But I would have to be so freaking fast. Uh, if I'm dead, I'm just dead. But if I'm if I'm dead, could I start from the last cycle? Could I please? Should we maybe try just that one last thing I want to do before we complete this? I wanted to take a nice picture. Not some... crummy... yeah, that's a good one. And you know, another thing that I started thinking about... Before I jump in here, let me... Let me actually say this, yes. So, I was thinking... What if the eye... In, in respect to that you can create a negative time interval, and they're saying that the eye is older than the universe, what if the eye was actually created by some sort of sentient being, similar to what they have been doing? Um, Because you remember I said like, oh look, they created the eye. What if it's something similar and they sent a similar thing back in time, and that's why it is picked up as being older? Does that make sense, or am I just talking shit? Hi! Hello! We've met before, but this is what I want to do. No, wait. This is what I want to do. Just that. No. Hi. I feel like I have to make up my mind. Um, I know what I have to do. I have the coordinate. I took a picture of it on my f on my little phone. It's looking like an L, X, and weird N. Luxon. And so I will just have to do that. I think. Okay, so we we're. Hmm. I've said it. I said it pretty pretty early on. We are on a timer. And now we're even more on a timer. Again, and I couldn't even tell Gabro that we're on a timer. I would have told her to follow me. I'm scared. I'm scared to do this. I'm scared. Because what if I fail? This is my last chance. Now time will actually come to pass. You know, those... 22 minutes that didn't happen. Because I'm thinking like this. We're so used to being... Acquiring knowledge is a linear thing for us, right? We're so attached and entangled with how time works. And how we perceive time. That we couldn't imagine looking into the future in any way. But I'm thinking like this. You know when you're just like chilling on the sofa and you're having you're you're sitting and laying and daydreaming, right? You're Yeah, I should have said that or I should have done that. Or even problem solving in your own head. I don't know if you do that, but I do that if I have to if I want to do some sort of project or whatever, I'm problem solving in my head all the time. So even if that didn't come to pass, I didn't I didn't sit there at the whatever, at the sewing machine to sew whatever. Say a bag. I want to sew a bag and I'm solving like, okay, so how do I technically solve all of these nooks and crannies? Before it even happens, I have created an understanding of what the future will look like. I wasn't physically there, but my mind was. And so I will also remember that, right? I will remember... 
I will remember that for when I'm actually sitting down to sew the bag. So I sort of feel like it's something similar. It's a reality that didn't really happen yet, but we are getting understanding and knowledge from it before it happens. <laughs> I think that is so brilliant. How utterly confused I've been and now it just <laughs> all makes sense. Someone commented really long time ago, this game makes you feel both smart and stupid. You have a lot of I'm dumb moments and then you get aha moments. Yep, that is the truth. <laughs> and now we'd have to end. And that makes me sad. Oh my god, what if I fail? My hands are sweaty. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. You'll just have to replay everything. <laughs> okay, it's like uh, getting there. <gasps> no! Alright, now fast. Fast, 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 fast. We are gonna be fast. In the end, it's still all about the sand. Another thing I was thinking about is how does the scout come back to us? What technology are we using here? Maybe that's a stupid question, but couldn't we have used the same technology to recall our ship to the home planet? As we're doing with scout? Just please freaking work. Can work this time, huh? Did you hear me? You hear me? Listen to me. You listen to me, you little piece of shit. This time around, it's gonna work, okay? Also, is it is sand being teleported over into Ashwin Project as well? Or does it have to be a sentient being standing on the teleport? You have to have this IQ or higher to go on with the teleports. You know? That means they would never let me on any ride. Come on. You're joking. Oh my god! Uh, literally the first stop. The first inconvenience on this route that is towards the end. Gee, thanks, autopilot. Nope, that was definitely the shortest one. Definitely one. If we go back to the tracking module now, tracking probe tracking module, it's gonna be like, yes, it's been three hundred rounds since we found it. Where, where are you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm. Look, I'm exploring into the sun. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. What was it? There. Look. 
It is. In fact, a lot of polluters, huh? Where are you, there? Yeah. I feel like technically we would be able to stand there already, but no. And we just get instantly pulled up. Okay. Oh, yes! Fast. Come on. I am way too concentrated now. Okay. And also I'm nervous. Come on. Look at that. Where's the teleport? There. Okay. Where's my ship? Don't touch me, cactus. Oh man, my heart is beating! Okay, can I place it somewhere? Is it okay for just me to go? Oh my god, my heart! Oh, okay. It's a good thing I know how to use the map now, huh? Oh my goodness, okay. Ooh. Right, uh, so we have to still shoot probe into into where the grave is come on go faster I'm gonna get I'm gonna get eaten by the damn fish oh my god the music Oh my god! Okay. Sorry if I screamed. Sorry if I screamed, sorry if I screamed, sorry if I screamed. Okay, abort it. Nope, no, I hear them. I'm not making any noise. I still have ample time, it's fine. They heard me, they heard me. Oh god! It's fine. Ugh. They heard me, but I got away.
I wish I didn't have that good hearing, let's be honest. This would be the time I would get stuck on a thorn again. For sure. Get- let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay. Can I- can I please just- What if I would drop it? <laughs> wow, I me. For this one, I have to go pretty fast into it. So let's match it. Oh, man. Okay. Ready? No, not ready. Not ready. Okay, a little up. Match. Okay. Let's go. Of the controller. Oh, I thought I went fast. Oh my god. This never this never gets not scary. This never gets not scary. Just ice. Ice in the valley. Let's reach the eggs and then turn. the coordinates ready to yeah all right there's the eggs did they hear me Right there. Maybe it's fine if I get past these thorns. Okay. Go eat a freaking seed, you nasty. I guess in the end they were trying to protect their babies, huh? How did they record the sounds for this creature? It's so scary. No, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I need to get the picture out. No, 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 no. Come on, phone. I don't think there's any fishes here. I mean, I don't think so. Oh man. 
came. Um, where was I supposed to go? Oh no, there. Okay. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <gasps> okay. Come on. Okay. The first one needs to be like an L shape. Like that. There. And that's it. Next one is uh, like an X. Okay, this one. Hello? What's going on? What happened? I think it morphed out of existence there for a second. Okay, this one. That one. Nope. Next. Okay. That one is a weird looking N. This one. And then that one. Down there. This one and this one. Then careful. Down. What is that then? Ah. Uh. Done. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do. Okay. I didn't see that there was this. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first encounter with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Escal, wait! I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell uh, another clan where we're going? We can send a message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appears suddenly. Appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. Uh, as we can't lose a discovery this incredible, focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anana, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate locations? Sorry, coordinations. Coordina coordinates, sorry. Uh, the warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided... Uh, we arrive at our at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. The ship log, but where's my ship? Can I even get to my ship now? Huh. Can we... Hmm. Oh look! It really does have the character that's... Characteristics. Hmm. Okay, so... Is there anything up I missed? I can't open this one. Am I supposed to go through that? I don't know! 
They're not very, uh... They don't want to write instructions, huh? I don't think anything new popped up here either. Should I just go for it? I mean, what else, right? I don't have anywhere else to go. Let's go. Huh. <sighs> I guess we made it. So... This is our chance to jump into the eye. <laughs> oh, look at that. Are there any jellyfish we can climb inside? <laughs> I see purple electricity. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god. What? Hmm. What? Oh my god. What am I- what am I following now? Whoa. <gasps> Do I want to keep the light on? I don't know. That moaning myrtle thing is really scary. <gasps> oh god, I got scared. Nope, super heavy. Rightfully don't know which way I'm going. Let's go to the south then. Oh wait, we arrived at the north, huh? Oh, there we go. Well, <laughs> I guess we found it, huh? Oh, whoa. Do we... Do we just go? You ready? No! Yes! Yo! Yeah. Okay. You're merging? Oh my god. Oh, I have goosebumps! What is... Hi? The Namai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the Eye of the Universe. Yeah... Do we... where do we... Huh? 
That's the radio tower. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! The radio tower at Timberheart was built to receive transmission from the, our deep space satellite and house some of the last photos ever taken of the entire solar system. Hornfeld noticed a curious anomaly in one of the photos, but it ultimately went unexplained. Because I didn't go for the DLC, right? Wow. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. <gasps> of all the life forms who will perish uh, in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. Yes. Screw you, I didn't like you at all. The Namai who came to our solar system are following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flo flooded the entire solar system almost instantly without warning. Yeah? You know what? Maybe I can turn on my flashlight. Ah. You know, that's so much easier. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm gonna go there. Okay. Thanks for the lift. Uh, no, no writing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, little scouts. Yeah. Whoa. Dude. Whoa. It's all dying. They create a new world. Oh, oh. I'm here. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Stop. Don't crash, please. <laughs> Oh my god, that is beautiful! That's why it was older. It was there at the very beginning. But a beginning of that universe, huh? So we have a new universe. Is this like a Mass Effect wipe or what? <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh, that one is flooding. This one looks good. <gasps> oh no, I didn't want to I didn't want to ruin it. Hmm. Do I I can. Oh Am I running around and ruining the universe uh, the solar systems now? <laughs> no I destroyed it. Am I supposed to go anywhere? Am I just in nothingness? What is going on? I don't know where I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. There. 
now. All right. Oh. Really? Oh, goosebumps. Oh, goosebumps. What is going on? I'm having good my hair. The hair on my arms are standing up. Oh, I'm freaked out. Definitely quantum, huh? What are we being made aware of? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't remember how long I was supposed to do this. I don't know if I have a drift or he can't hold the stick still, but... Is this what we're doing now? Are we just waiting for other universes to come into existence? <laughs> what a trippy ending. Do we... Whoa, I got scared of my own shadow. Do we want to sit on that? <laughs> yeah. Esker, do you hear music? Do you? get in let me in <laughs> no oh how do i get in <laughs> oh no come on Let me in. Oh. No. <laughs> How do I get in though? This is just sad now. Still, no. Can I? Come on. Let me in. No, it's the same. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's why. Keep forgetting. No. Did I... Did I get it? Oh! <laughs> Hi! It's, um... It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others to fix the next part. 
We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. Oh, we're finding them all? Oh, man. We're gathering them all, huh? something with this one or no what do we do with this oh it's flying no oh no No. Ugh. Little bitch. Okay, thank... <laughs> You're connected to... Sparfelt was connected to those jellyfish or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what about you? do here no <laughs> not this one mm. I mean I can see it but maybe not in the correct order of things Oh, across old bark. <laughs> In the enchant glade, yes. It's always dark. It's so hard to control. Gather. Cool. Let's go back and talk to some of them first. Ah, finally a planet that suits me. I can't get hurt. <laughs> hey. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on. Find, go find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around the campfire, isn't it? Go on, go get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Okay. But I think it's only... The one left I don't really know how to solve. Mm. Oh... Now I got it. Let's go talk to the last one. So the conscious mind would enter. And 
we would all gather. <clears throat> so the conscious mind would enter and we would all gather, huh? The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our stars would ultimately kill us. I'll wait here to remember them while you gather everybody. Didn't I though? Haven't I gathered them all? Yeah, okay. Do we want to gather the Nomai? <laughs> yeah? Hey, you want to tag along? Oh, something up? Is it the eye? Oh? No? I guess not. I want to stand- oh! Ah. Oh wow! One last wawa, huh? Yeah? So this is our minds when we entered um, the eye. So the conscious observer would observe himself, right? Oh, huh? Thanks, Solanum, I guess. Yeah. Conscious observer has sent to the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I am honored to be part of it. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yes. What do you say then? Should I get out the old heart? <laughs> it was nothing. I can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Shall I begin? Yes. Well, then here I go. Yes. You, you got it. I'll do my best. That... Hmm. <laughs> oh.
That was an amazing game. Huge thank you to everyone who wanted to tag along. And thanks to my friend for buying this game for me. No, I don't have any words. This was amazing. This has been amazing. Um, so a huge thank you to to my friend and to you guys for wanting to watch it. And I um, can't remember the last time I got this emotionally involved in a game, so that was cool. But hey, we still have the DLC, right? <laughs> so I think I'll I might take a small break now. Let all of it land, right? Fantastic. Fourteen point three billion years later. Is it the new? <laughs> Okay. Wow, that was a little previous save. Maybe we want to do that and read the last entry that I missed. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna go in, read the last entry, and then I want to try try my other theories for the endings. So, yeah, that, that's gonna be the last thing we do here. Yeah, let's let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I found the recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell any any other clan they were where they were going. Yeah. Okay, so one idea would be to just take it and let it happen. Oh, hi Moon. Hmm, actually, yeah, let's do that then. Um, because another one that I wanted to do was to see if, um, okay, sorry, I'm going to finish my thought here because I feel like I got a little bit distracted. So I wanted to see the different endings. I think one of them is that you just take the core and then you just let time pass and it's like you're dead. But I think that was the first thing I did in the first episode unknowingly. Uh, so the, there's two other things I want to try. One of them is just hitching a ride on the moon. Oh, Lord. So let's do that. Let's see what happens if we are on the sixth location. Uh, what's what's going to happen? All right. Let's see here. This is where we're gonna chill for a bit. For like 20 minutes or something. Uh, and let's see what happens, right? Explain and identify. I don't think I took that one last time, actually. <laughs> 
Really? These are the two tenets of the Numai philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Yeah, well, I, I saw it. <laughs> Guess it takes a little time, huh? Hi. What's up? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. All right. Okay. So I guess technically I actually got that ending before as well, huh? So unknowingly ticked off two endings. <laughs> okay, and then... I don't think there's anything new. I'm still curious about this one. Hmm. Oh! Alright, well... Yeah. I passed through the curve, yeah. Cool. Uh, hmm. I don't know how you would get any information about this one. Maybe go into one of the... Volcanoes on it? Let's check it. Oh, what are you going so fast for? Calm down. Okay. You're just about to spew one, huh? Is there something in there? There is something in there. Ah. Someone did say that you can't get information. But that it would be pretty dangerous. I see why now. Holy. Yeah. Alright. No. Ooh. Missed me. Come on. Jesus. Come on. No. Oh. Ooh. I think I'm fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait for the spewer. Yeah. Oh, and then in one of my later episodes, someone's like, read from the top. I'm like, yeah, well. Increase solar activity detected. Increase volcanic activity detected. Location is now in. Hospitable. Evacuation recommended. Hold on. Yeah, let's see. Friends in the Timber Hearth mines. The last type of ore you send us survives the longest in direct heat. Oh, this is where they did experiments. Oh, I see. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forges forge has already burnt through everything you sent. Literally. Uh, we'll deliver, uh, deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be firing, be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an update uh, estimates soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ashwin project. I can imagine you needed a lot, huh? Uh, will be will it be more than uh, than we initially thought? It would be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Yes, the idea of encasement that's supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. Interesting. Yeah, we know what this is going to look like, but let's do it anyway, because we can. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. Do you feel like spewing one out before I go? Taking my chances. Taking my chances. Oop, oh, that's good. Then we will go to you, and we will... Well, because I think one of them would be that you'd go to the edge, like drive 22 minutes straight, 22 minutes straight to the edge, right? Um... But I don't want to do that. <laughs> it feels like such a waste of time. 
I will, however, see if I... Ooh. What happened? What What am I stuck on? That was very strange. Yes! Volcanic testing site. Ore samples from the Nomai mines on Timber Hearth were sent to this volcano... Uh, this volcano for durability testing. The Namai were trying to craft a briefly supernova proof shell to encase the Ashwin project. Even the smallest crack or opening in the uh, protective shell would destroy everything. I think. I th Yay! Look at that! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, that's. I'm, I'm glad. That was a very. Um, uh, non spoiler uh, tip. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But let's go into the Ash Twin and uh, do the last thing. The very last thing, I think. Come on, match. Ooh. Calm down. The very, very last thing, I think. And then next thing. Oh my goodness, calm. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I really felt like we needed that one last crash before um, before we can claim that we did everything we could. We needed one last bomba. Okay. Yes, okay. Good. Uh... Yeah. Very good. Alright, so let's try this. You already know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna be naughty. Gonna be naughty. We're gonna break some stuff. Come here. Come here, orb. There. And then we're gonna turn you off. And let's see here. Oh no! No, no. Stay open. <laughs> I guess we can stand ready. Mm <laughs> hmm. Cool. Okay, let's be ready. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Did I... Hmm. I mean, in that case, where... Where would the... Like the sibling, the white hole, where would that be? In... Inside Ash Twin? Should we go there again? I don't know. Okay. Did anything change in here? <gasps> it's me! Whoa! What the heck happened? This is the greatest time of my life! Are you me from the last loop? This got weird in a hurry. Ah! <laughs> what the heck happened? <laughs> if you're me, then I'm as confused as you are. Do you think we're the same? We have the same memories? Do you think it's okay? There's two of us. Well, we're talking to each other and nothing has exploded yet. Yeah, that's a great novel experience. It's a pretty great, pretty novel experience. Gosson always says that means that it's the date's going well. Maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, an extra version of us is definitely better than if we created an extra angler fisher or something. Gee. <laughs> That's setting the bar pretty low. Agreed. We're charming and have fewer teeth. 
<laughs> That's, that probably counts or something. So hey, what do you think happen if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of the loop? Huh, that's a good question. If I don't, then where did you come from? Guess we'll find out. That's a good point. I mean, I feel as real as ever, so I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination or anything like that. That's just what a figment of my imagination would say! <laughs> you, try, you uh, what is it called? Imposter. I'm no expert, but you seem pretty real to me. Thanks. You seem real to me too, so... I guess there's just two of us now. At any rate, it's been good talking to you, me. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. Hmm. Are you me from the last loop? I think so. I started this current loop by popping out of the white hole inside of the Ashwin project. I started at the campfire like usual. What do you remember from before this loop? Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump in? That's a good question. If I don't, then I guess we'll find out. I guess so. At any rate, it's been good talking to you, me. Incredibly strange, but good. Um, this got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicate living being being probably wasn't what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ashwin project. Uh, I wonder if there's there's being two of us screws anything up on oh, yeah. Same memories. Good question. Let's see. I remember all the time loops, including last loop, when I jumped into the black hole in here. What about you? Me too. Sounds like our memories diverge at the start of this loop. Same, I expect, except I woke up at the campfire like always. Makes sense to me. Hmm. Yeah. Good question. Something I've been wondering about. We're in... Uh, we're in thoroughly uncharted territory at this point. And like all the other times, all the other time mani manipulations we've experienced. Truly, we are the Felspar of weird time stuff. Oh jeez, Felspar would just use the time loop to try increasing the outlandish stunts, wouldn't they? Maybe it'd be a good thing they aren't aware of it. Yeah, I guess so. At any rate, it's been good talking to you, me. Oh no. Uh, like all the other, yeah. Are you being sassy? You can't sass me, you are me. Uh, does kind of prove we're the same person though. At any rate, we get talking to you. Is there anything I missed? Except for, ah! What have we done? Jumping into the black hole was a terrible idea. Yes, yes it was. I needed to know what would happen. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Man, so okay, calm down, calm down. Oh my god, this is the greatest in my life. Sure, two of us is great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the, the day we you know? What about that one? Are you talking about the day I Alright, that one's probably said No! What? No! I'm talking about the other one. Oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah, now you got it. That was an incredible day. But, pro but today is probably the next greatest day of our life after that one. Wait, can you read my mind? What other memories do you have? Can you read my mind? Definitely no. I just have the same memories as you. Except for this loop, I mean. I started this loop by popping out of the white hole, yeah. Guess we'll find out. Wow. So he won't. I mean, me won't <laughs> be here in the next loop. I guess so. I guess we're just gonna chill. Yeah. It's been great meeting me. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. I don't think you're gonna be here next loop, huh?
Oh, he's destroyed the fabric of space time. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I did destroy something. I knew that would. I knew I wouldn't destroy something. <laughs> That is so good. Oh god. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad I did that. The last thing I did was that I broke something again. That is so good. Oh man. Ah, that's been a ride. Oh my god, I'm really glad I did that. That's funny. Holy shit. Um, it, I would really appreciate if you guys left your comments down below. What do you think? Like, what were your theories? Is there any endings that I missed, except for the one that I would possibly just drive out uh, outside of the solar system or something? Uh, I, I would love to hear what you what you think. It's so funny to read your comments, so please leave them down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>